Hey guys, back today. Uh, you can see my M17 that normally had my air kit all rigged up has been stripped down. I have actually moved it over to my um, CQ map. Um, so I'm just waiting for a longer airline and then I'll be doing some some shooting videos with this. But uh, so the reason I moved it over. Um, a is because um, this uh, custom products ASA it did not behave well on my M17 with the drilled regulator. Um, so by drilled, I mean with that is that brass orifice has been drilled out uh, in this. In my CQMF, I never went as far as drilling it. I thought I would leave one sort of as a baseline that I could use. Um, so I thought went ahead and installed all that over onto the CQMF, and it is functioning fine with this uh, custom products ESA. So uh, in the meantime, I am going a different route. I am so. I've proven, you know, 1100 PSI with the drilled rig, la da da da, 70 joules, 70 plus joules. Um, I'm gonna try different methods now. I'm going to see what I can do on 850 PSI. So essentially, this video is uh, just documenting um, my FPS on 850 PSI. Um, I just picked up one of these uh, little Tipman 9 CI bottles. Um, so it is factory set at 850 PSI. Uh, you can see there, I think the gauge is a little off because I just, just filled it and it doesn't quite say 3000, but whatever. Splitting hairs here, so we will just confirm. Output pressure. Oops, forgot to turn the <laughs> forgot to turn the ASA on. Um, well, according to this gauge, it's probably like eight hundred and twenty-five psi. So, either way. I will not be modifying this tank during the process of my new uh, new projects. Oops. So what I'm going to do is shoot three uh, jewels, I believe. Jewel V2s are first in uh, my magazine, and then uh, three Kander riot balls. In my M17. Now this M17 is bypass regulator and also has the drilled mod on it. Um, this is as far as I've gone with this. The next step is to try and open this chamber up a little further. Um, yeah, so let's do some shooting. Oh, you know what else I wanted to show? So, <clears throat> I'm up to six bumpers in this M17. Um, and this is what I found. So, I have the three jewels and the three counter eyeballs already loaded in this magazine. My safety's on. And I'm going to air the marker up. Now, normally, it would spit a ball out. No ball. Um, I found uh, that actually having more bumpers in there not only makes for a little quieter engagement, um, it, that bolt doesn't slam so far forward. It's not traveling as far to hit the sear, which I believe was actually the cause. 
and of losing a ball at the barrel. I think it was bumping the bumping the ball, knocking it out. So now that it's maybe only moving a quarter inch uh, up to the sear point, uh, doesn't spit balls anymore. Now, I tried six on my CQMF, and it went bonkers. Um, and that CQMF is currently down to four bumpers and behaving exactly the same as this, no ball bump. So I recommend if you're going to try adding bumpers, have enough that you can start high or start low and move to a number higher. Um, I got to seven bumpers and Sear didn't catch. So six is about the max, uh, but again, six bumpers, four bumpers. So even though these markers internally are mostly the same, they're behaving differently. So any case, 850 PSI. I have in this uh, a eight inch Labco 684 smooth bore. So Jewel V2 first. Oh, that was a double fire, 248. So it did bump it a little. That's probably the reason for that, uh, for the double shot. But at least it didn't come out of the barrel. <laughs> so one jewel left. 338. Uh, now three can arrive balls. 306. 306. 306. Well, that's pretty dang gone consistent. Um, well, I mean, that's about it. 306, I think that's about 42, 42 joules on 850 PSI with the 8 inch 684 Lapco. So, next up, more reg mods. And then uh, we'll revisit this again. And uh, when I get the extra hose, a little bit longer hose for my CQ, I'll be sending that one down the same road. Um, but this has kind of become my, my test mule. All my modifications always were on this before I transfer over to my CQ. Um, no real particular reason. I just wanted to keep one marker in case I buggered something up. It was still functioning. And maybe I could use it as a... Uh, a tool to try and dissect and see where I went wrong. But uh, yeah, watch out for the new videos coming.